I'm Uta Frith. I'm Emeritus Professor of Cognitive Development, and I have been one of the founders of the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, and I'm really very, very proud of this. I was there right at the beginning when it all started, when Tim Shallis had this brilliant idea that we should get together and form first a virtual institute and very soon after a real institute, a geographical presence. I have been excited by uh, cognitive neuroscience um, for a long time. First, um, cognitive neuropsychology, and then it became possible not just to study interesting cognitive mechanisms in neurological patients via neuropsychological methods, but the brain imaging methods arrived slowly at first, but they did make a big bang. And to me, that was a huge expansion of the horizon of what could be done in psychology. And it was sort of like time to put behind this slightly tainted word psychology, which was sort of all encompassing lots of stuff which was not even experimental in any way, and go towards something that seemed much more like a proper science. So cognitive neuroscience was exactly the right thing, and an institute of cognitive neuroscience was just needed. I loved to, to, to be there, to be part of this organism as a, as a small group um, where I was very interested in studying uh, developmental disorders. And the two that I really concentrated on were autism and dyslexia. And we were able, for the first time in the first years of the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, to use PET scans with uh, adult um, autistic individuals and adult dyslexics and in fact this this is uh, very interesting that we, we couldn't at that time uh, scan children um, but and we had to actually develop tests first to see um, how we could define the adults who would still count as autistic and adults who would still count as dyslexic so that was a very interesting uh, journey and very interesting results that we obtained um, of course, very crude, things improved, things got much better. But during my time, until 2006, when I retired, I had, I think, probably the, the best years of my career.